During the last E3, at long last, some gameplay was shown from Shin Megami Tensei V, included a release date, of course, for November. When I watched the trailer, it blew me away and I became hyped. I am so excited for this release, been waiting on it for a long time, and most of you probably know I've actually made various videos about it in the past, right? Then I learned about all the internet drama. I noticed people comparing the game to Pokemon and Persona, ignorant of the history of the Mega Tensei series, and finally, the memes about the androgynous design of the main character. Now, the Shin Megami Tensei fanbase is one of the most toxic fandoms I've seen in my life. It's horrible, and as a huge fan of the series, it often shames me to be a part of it. So you can only imagine the rage of most people when they saw all these comparisons to Pokemon and Persona. I'll agree that it's a little annoying reading these comments, but they come from people who don't know much about the series. Everything about monster or creature collecting or capturing is always compared to Pokemon, so it's normal. They don't know Shin Megami Tensei came way before Pokemon, and it might have influenced it to an extent as a matter of fact. Most people also don't know that Persona is a Shin Megami Tensei spin-off that recently became its own series. The ginormous commercial success of Persona 4 and 5 led some of their fans astray far away from the franchise's origins. So why make a drama about it? Instead of destroying these people with insults or attacking them, why don't you just teach them? Just tell them SMT came before and that Persona is, or was, a part of it. There's also people saying that this series seems to be back in a negative connotation to the high school setting. Nothing really wrong with that as all first games in the series, most of them being Japan exclusive, take place in high school with a student as the main character. Hell, even the MC from Nocturne is a freaking student for Christ's sake. But I know it's hard to go back after both games from Shin Megami Tensei 4 came out, which do not take place within a school setting. The point is, come on, give it a break, SMT has always been connected to high schoolers and shit. And last, but definitely not least, the new protagonist. It's hard not to notice his androgynous appearance, but you know what? The artist Masayuki Doi often makes some of his characters like this. It's just that this new dude has long hair when he transforms, and that's it! Why make a fucking drama about it? And all these ridiculous rumors about the gender binary or whatever they're making? You just saw a 3 minute trailer and think this character is LGBT already? That's just bullshit! I'm excited for this new release. Yes, it looks slightly different, yes, it looks more colorful, but it's Shin Megami Tensei. From what I saw in the trailer, it looks true to the series. That's a damned fine game I saw! I know the memes won't stop, I know the hatred between Persona and SMT fans also won't stop, but I hope I can reach a few people at least with this video and convince them to stop behaving like 12 year old kids. Just be excited like some of us are as a fan of the series and be patient for the release. But that's just my opinion. Without this stupid internet drama, some influencers wouldn't exist. And hell, without it, this video would never exist. Ha! <laughs> the nasty irony. That's all for today, folks. Just chill, be cool, teach people about the history of Shin Megami Tensei, wait for the release, be hyped, that's all. Thanks for watching.